Whoa, what it do? It's your favorite couple, and you already know we keeping it real. We're keeping it together. I'm Hot Boy Turk. And I'm E-Money. And this is Make, make Love, Make, make money, money Podcast. You dig? Wow, what it is, what it is, man. We back, we back. Like we left something, you heard me? And um, look like, man, we switched bottles or something because I recall the last time we had Ace of Spade in here. What, we downgrading or something? What's going on? Oh, my Lord. I like that kind, too. Oh, okay, okay, you okay. You gonna let me switch it up from time to okay, time. Okay, well, you better been and got paid for it. That's all I know. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, yeah. you sure have a lot to say. I'm just now, saying. I, before we even came here, we was in a car. Now... I don't know if nobody else have to deal with this. If I'm running to the store, I'll throw on anything. Yeah. I don't really care. You know, I'll have on whatever. Yeah. You know? Anything. But every time we go to the store or go anywhere, Turk got to be matched. You know what I'm saying? He I got to get suited and booted. No, I don't. It ain't suited and booted. It's just prepared for social media. Because if you come outside looking like into tank, into tank. Then they gonna just say Into thing And I don't like them comments But the thing about it is I don't care what they say It ain't about if that I'm finna just run to the store He all looking at your ankles You ain't put Did you put some baby oil on your ankles But you caught me back When we just went to the gym And say look I got you back So you seen what I be seeing I, But Cause you care you care too. Man, if I'm going to the store, I need to run and go get some bread or a white t shirt. Whatever I need to run, just going in Target, Walmart, Man. wherever I'm going. Don't every time I go somewhere, look at me from head to toe. Talking about, all right, they're going to have you on social media. It don't matter. Okay, don't well, care. come on the podcast like you just go in no, Walmart. No, I pick down. and choose. Nah, man. Anyway, anyway, all right. But anyway, you, you ain't gonna keep on picking choosing with me. When we step out, we need to be always looking like we, you know what I'm saying? Gonna be getting the um autograph. Somebody asking for a picture. Somebody, man, you know what I'm saying? They they see. they cherishing that moment. So once they post it on social media, it's stuck there. And then you'll be saying, "Look, I ain't had like that. that, that. It's too late." So you gotta make sure you dress like and impress for the. Occasion. That's all. That's oh, all so I be every saying. Every day is an occasion. Every with day, you. exactly. Exactly. I right, see. Y'all see what I got to exactly. deal with. Man, you ain't talking about every nothing. Every day is an occasion. Anyway. This anyway. Man ain't gonna go on live. He's going to put on an outfit. First. I got to. The hat matching the shoe. I got to. Anyway, let's but, get but, into okay. what we came to do. Because right, anyway, you know, we'll go on and on. Because yeah, bringing our argument but, to the show. We ain't, but, we ain't supposed but, to be no, doing but, all that. We're talking about that. I really want to talk about appearance. Okay, y'all. I think these days people put a whole lot, and you supposed to, you know, care about how you look, care about what you have on, yeah, you know, this, that, and the other. But when it's too much, too much, it's bringing me to this story that I saw scrolling on Instagram, mm -hmm. and it was a young lady, and you know, first off, prayers go out to her family, and you know, God rest her soul because she went out of the country to get a BBL right she ended up dying and when the body was sent back to her family it was missing large parts of the brain the lungs and other vital organs and tissues so you know it's just been always a big conversation about appearance and wanting to look this good and look that good when is it not okay you know what i'm saying like when is the fact that you really having a surgery and getting and putting your life on the line but do do people think that their life is on the line when they trying to look fine you know what i'm saying do they even consider that this is a possibility that i might not make it out of this surgery or they just thinking about how they gonna look after the fact no they got to be thinking about how they're going to look after the fact. But I think it's a possibility because she, I mean, you know, I can stand a little more, you know. Nah, you good just like how you is. But you don't need to be getting I none of that. I always think about now, you know, I'm not going to be putting my life in. I've had to have surgeries without no choice. So I'm yeah. not going to make a decision to go and lay down on nobody's table, putting me to sleep. I'm just not going to do it. But to each his own. So what about the, the, the men that kind of like putting the pressure on these women? Because like sometimes, you know, these women be feeling like insecure. 
you know, then they got all these different women bodies and how they looking on social media. You know what I'm saying? It's just a whole bunch of people that looking like something that they not perfect. It's nobody in this world that's perfect. So I feel like, you know what I'm saying, if you get in the gym, if you eat right, there's all kind of ways to do it naturally than going, you know what I'm saying, put your life in danger like that. But, you know, it is what it is to each his own. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but, yeah. It's a lot of, what, it's a lot of uh, different ways to do it naturally. But, you know, you, these days you have uh, the surgery with the BBLs. Mm -hmm. They got this recent craze with the Olympic. Mm -hmm. Is it Olympic or Ozempic? Ozempic. Ozempic. <laughs> Ozempic. 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 Yeah. You know. And she tried to get me to do that, y'all. That's why I'm really in the gym, but it ain't going. No. So you talking about it, but she, man, I got to keep it real. Y'all know I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Nah. Now she really proposed it to me, right? And I was like, nah, nah. I, I ain't gonna do that, babe. We gonna get our butt in the gym for real, cause I'm scared of sticking something in my stomach. You know what I'm saying? No. However they do it, you feel Listen, me? To each his own, though. To each his own. Now yeah. the conversation did come up, and after I researched it and then thought about it, cause I'm a thinker too, and I'm like, man, nah, dog, we just gonna. No sweat, no check. And y'all see how we do it. You feel me? But on a serious note, babe, it's it's October. And, um, you know, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I don't know if the people know that you, you know what I'm saying, went through all of the, you know, chemotherapy, the radiation, and the double mastectomy. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel Knowing that you well, we in um October, right? So so you had to go through surgery, and you did went through some things, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't, you know what I'm saying, by choice. It was just you had to do it, you know what right. I'm saying? So explain the difference when you have to go through it that way, and how you feel about it being, you know, Breast Awareness Month, you know, okay. and all that thing. Right. So first off, I do want to, you know, shout out to everybody who's actually. On their journey, uh, if they've been recently diagnosed uh, with breast cancer, those who are fighting, who've been on it for a while, and honor those who have, um, you know, I don't like to say lost the battle, but have transitioned on to a better place um, mm -hmm. during their journey with breast cancer. Um, but, yeah, when I went through it, I had to go through so many surgeries, and it was not... Um, I mean, it still was a choice, but then it was like a necessity at the time. It wasn't cosmetic. So, mm -hmm. um, with me going through that, going back to what we was talking about, that's a big reason why I would not just opt to have a surgery just for some enhancements. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what can come along with it. Mm -hmm. And um, Going through something like that is so good when you have somebody by your side to help you through it. You know, Turk was there the whole way. I also had my family and I had my twins. My twins, they were number one years old at the one year old at the time. Mm -hmm. But you just never know where you have to pull like strength from. And sometimes when you have these little babies and I had two of them. It ain't no laying down, you and know. And you couldn't change them. You couldn't hold them. They crawling. That was that was a time. I'm I'm not gonna lie. And um, by the grace of God, we got through it. You know what I'm saying. But for the people that don't have that support, like, what would you say to a woman that's going through, you know, the things that you went through, and don't have the support like you had? Like, how do she get through it? You know what I'm saying. Well, truth be told, even with support. At times, you can feel like you're going through this by yourself because nobody really understands. Mm -hmm. And that's where your faith has to come into play. You got to know and just believe that all is well. And my grandmama told me this. She said, when you feel like you can't sleep at night or you're having a hard time, just say, all is well, all is well. And I would say that sometimes all night long mm -hmm. until I just fell asleep because it's something so hard to deal with. And then there's groups, too. Like if you go to breastcancer.org, that's a group of women uh, who are going through this and you'll find a great support group uh, within that so mm -hmm. I did that as well even though I had the support of you and everybody else yeah 
it's just um it's a thing where I always tell people it has a toll on your body tremendously, but the biggest toll that it has is really on your mind. Mm -hmm. And if you can condition your mind to be in a place of being a winner, of being um, a survivor, and just continuing to push through to knock down those hurdles to go from one step to the next to the next and stay positive. You know, watch positive things on TV. I mean, I think, what was it? The secret. Uh, huh? The secret. No, nah, not the secret. When I was going through that, we hadn't even watched the secret yet. Mm -hmm. It was uh, you know, when they pull the wheel down, come on down. Price is right. Price is right. <laughs> yeah. Baby, I had to watch Price is Right every day because you want to watch something. Why well, was that going. when you were watching Price is Right? That's when we were staying in a we were staying in an apartment still. Oh, okay. I was watching Price is Right, but every still, day. where I was at, <laughs> you know, we were staying in the apartment. But where uh, was you I? Was crazy then. Oh, okay. You had, you okay. had. I baby, still you institutionalized. Still in good and institutionalized. Good and institutionalized. Hey, to bring to bring on when you was going through it, and I was, I remember me being institutionalized. Cause I'm gonna tell y'all a little quick little story. When she was going through, you know, what I'm saying her situation. She wanted to help other women. But, you know, we wasn't in no position financially to be able to be sending people food and doing this and doing that. You know what I'm saying? But she insisted to make little baskets, send people canned goods, rice, whatever whatever we can send these people. And I was like, man, look, we ain't about to be doing all that. We used to get in real fuss about it, y'all. It wasn't petty. It was the man, principle. I'm like, man, petty. I'm like, listen, I'm like, man, they got Don't people that can help the them. Story. You Don't can tell a story. What you want to bring? What you talking about? Tell don't make me tell the story. Tell it. Man, listen, you know, I this don't, man. I don't care. So petty. My mama, okay, oh. asked me for a repass. Could I go to Sam's and get her a big can of green beans and a big mm. one? A big can of green beans and a big can of corn. We're talking about green beans and corn. Do you know this man said, where your daddy at? Why he can't go get it? I feel like I was cool to what say that. Mean? And it's cool to say that because it's like, where, where, where pops? You feel me? First of all, I had the Sam's card. Didn't nobody I, have no saying was that talk. was but you say that was institutionalized. I'm, I'm calling institutionalized. it now. Nah, it's the principle. If you got it a man, no if you have a man no in the house, get. if you have a man in the house, the man should be able to provide for his woman, for his wife, First just of like all, I was. Wasn't a point of providing or not. The point was. I had the Sam's card. We live not too far from Sam. Well, I didn't think Can that. Can you deep. go get the? I man, didn't think that deep. The only thing I saw was, wait, don't she got a man? I was spending five, six nah, 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 nah. I saw, don't she got a man? Why call my woman to go get something that she should be able to have for herself? And then if it was $5, that'd even make it even worse. But anyway, I ain't like that no more, y'all. I didn't see that as petty. I just, it was the principle. You know what I'm saying? I love my you know, money law and father in law. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's all good now. And you know get what I'm a whole case of corn. Yo, and yo. That's just the fact of dealing with somebody fresh out of jail. You anyway. feel me? The Lord anyway. knows it took baby. It took it took some work to get right here today to we where here. we can even have this conversation. We here and so we guess what? We made love, make money. So guess what? Money. That's what's we going on. You know what I'm saying? But at the time, yeah. we was making love, making a mess, and just just. <laughs> Woo, in distress, pa yeah. barely passing the test. It's all love. Yeah. It's all love. But look, check this out. Speaking about um, my guy, man. God bless his soul. You know he done moved on. Um, James Evans. His real name John Amos, I believe. You know what I'm saying? Um, unfortunately, like everybody else, we found out that he had passed away. What? 45 days after he passed away and you know then his daughter and his son all of a sudden they got a conflict going on you know what I'm saying now me and my wife talked about this I and about it. we kind of like you know we always have a little debate and it be real but it be a healthy debate you know what I'm saying and um I was thinking that it could be something that it probably you know what I'm saying not as the daughter putting it out 
to be. You feel me? My wife was he saying is the what fault. the daughter saying. I'm not saying it's nobody's fault, but the daughter trying to blame the son. The son ain't saying nothing. The public is speaking, and it kind of like made sense of. You know, if there was this man wishes that he didn't want it to be revealed until after a certain time, it probably was a possibility that that could have happened. You saying that it wasn't. What y'all think? What you, okay, explain explain it's why you say what you say. nothing on God's green earth that's going to make me feel like it's ever okay for this man to have passed away 45 days ago and his only daughter just now finding out with the rest of the world. Nothing is going to make me feel like that's okay. But did you hear what the publicist said? I don't said? care what the publicist said. It, I don't care what she said. Ter do you want Do you want to? Go ahead. Uh, no, go ahead. Go no, ahead. No. The publicist, it, it, it may say, I'm not saying that it's cool. Not, but I'm saying that it probably was a possibility. It sense to you. It just made sense to me that it could have happened like that. If you got somebody that's, you know, how they how they described it, you know, that can make a um a, a circus out of my situation and do this and do that. Yeah, I probably want to, you know, wish that or say that, you know, if this can happen like that, let it happen. And I just seem like to me, seem like to me that it's a possibility. I'm not saying that. Nobody was wrong, but when she got up there bashing the brother, saying he's she on drugs and he had mental. Say, first of all, she said he's he's a, uh, on alcohol, drinks alcohol, and has mental health issues. She, I didn't never hear that's her say bashing. she was on drugs. That's bashing him. Then okay, she also said that he did the same thing with her mother, but. I don't know, man. I, I I'm just feel like you know that's them people' business. You know what I'm saying? Don't none of us know what really happened? It's always two sides to a story. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. You feel me? Like we'll never know, especially with him being cremated. You know what I'm saying? And like how would you of this know? Just does not make sense. It don't make no sense, sir. First of all, you hurry up and you cremate somebody. Okay, without their family, immediate family being able to celebrate their life, even know anything about them. And you know, take way before uh, James Evans passed, John Amos passed away. I still to this day watch Good Time mm -hmm. Marathon. Yep. It's on my TV right now. Am I lying? Nah, you watch it. You watch it. I watch it all the time. This so so my, so you you feeling some type of way because now of I'm your feeling connection? Some type of way because how on God's green earth would him with everybody being notified? How would that be a spectacle? I'm I'm looking for it right now. How would that be it. a spectacle? This man is loved and admired by so many. He's been putting in work for so long. He has loyal fans who probably watch and pay attention to everything he do. How can that be made a spectacle? Check this out, neighbors. In a recent statement from John's publicist of 30 years, Belinda Foster addressed the claims that his son KC didn't notify the family of his passing, stating the following. KC was under a strict no contact order based on the complaint that his sister Shannon brought against him in 2023. He could not contact them via telephone or through social media. At the time of his debt, John was concerned that Shannon might turn his debt and interment into a circus as she had done with other aspects of his life. So, you saying that the publicist of 30 years who put her name out there, Belinda Foster, you know, knowing that it could be an investigation, knowing that, you know, these people could come down. You think they lying or uh, uh, they, they want to put themselves in a, in, in a way of an investigation if that's not true? Investigation for what? If you ain't did nothing, why are you worried about investigation? And if he's on the street, I can't contact these people. Belinda. You couldn't contact the family? Belinda, you couldn't let his only daughter know. Did you did you Belinda, miss what did you, you did you miss what John said? No, uh, what John allegedly said. But, Go ahead. No, what they say John said. He said 
Casey was under a strict no contact order based on a complaint that his sister Shannon That's bought a against no him in 2023. He could John not said. hold up contact them via telephone or through social media. At the time of his death, John. At the time of his debt, John was concerned that Shannon might turn his debt and intimate into a circus, as Allegedly. she had done with other aspects of his life. That's hearsay. Okay, others. But you believe in but, what but, she's saying no, on but, TMZ, but, though. But, but, it's no. hearsay what she's saying, though. N no. From me looking at the brother's page and then going looking at the sister. So you are investigating now? No, just, I'm, listen, I'm observing like everybody else. The brother had James Evans, John, I call him James Evans. Y'all know I'm talking about John Amos. Amos had him in TikTok videos every. He was an actor. No, but listen, what I'm saying is he had his daddy doing all these TikToks. He had him, you know, and you could tell that he likes the camera. He likes attention. The son, you go to the daughter's page and I'm just going by both of them. If you go to she the, like confusion. No, have attention you, and confusion is two different no. things. No, if you go, have you ever been to her page? Nah, I ain't go to none okay. of their pages. So but you, I, you, you just making a judgment off of what I don't know. Nah, but anyway, I just, I just feel like when you had all these finish. people on TMZ, she had four different people had, on TMZ, and they all was talking. And then what, what got me was the part where she. Like bashed her brother Let Like I just felt like It's just some personal Between okay. them Okay go ahead Go ahead go, go, go ahead Cause you made your Invalid point But okay. you made it Now She had I got a drink On, on TMZ that. She had herself she had her daughter, which is John Amos' granddaughter, who's a teacher. She, uh, the lawyer was on there. I don't know who had the lawyer. And she had the goddaughter. She didn't have just random people. But she also stated that this publicist, Belinda, lives in the house with the brother and two other super fans along with John Amos when he was alive. Now, again, the brother who seems like loves social media because he posts every day. Ever since his father has passed, he's not made not one post about his dad, has not said anything about him. He didn't notify, even if he was on a strict order to where he couldn't notify the family, Belinda could have. So he could have went through a third party. Anybody else could have notified this woman that her father just passed. She there's nothing that could validate her finding out when we found out 45 days later and this man is cremated. But you so, know, so 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 what you think? You think that it was some foul play or something? You know what? Now that I can't say. If I was to just throw a pinion out there, it sounds like it because why not tell a soul that their father just died? You can't well, I don't know. Or tell I, a soul or tell this girl that her grandfather died. I know. What about his sisters or brothers if he had any? His uncles or cousins? Anybody? His but, best but friend? My, like My thing is this too. If you knew that it was a possibility and I heard her say that she knew her dad was, you know, kind of like you know, going through, you know, a heart condition. Well, well, where she was at before all of this transpired, like, was she concerned about his health then, like she is now? Because if you was, you know what I'm saying? She's you not would be concerned about his health, and I'm sure she probably was. She's concerned about the fact that my father, my only one father, has passed away. I, I was not there. But, but that's the thing Your, the, the, the man where you say Was not there I so what they lived In two different states But this is what I'm saying If you Cause you say Just Something like about She was dancing Hold up But you states. say You say she was dancing On a video She was doing that So you telling me She didn't have no way To where she could have Got around him If that's her she daddy She probably was But she probably wasn't there When he passed away They lived in two Sorry Come on now, I you understand not that But I'm saying She making a concern Like she was so concerned Was she concerned When he was alive what I'm saying from the looks of it from her page it looks like she loved her father and he loved his daughter I don't see any or was she causing confusion to the point where he didn't want her around him at all no so you don't think that could have been a possibility <laughs> Sorry, at all 
first of all, from what you read, it shows conflict between the sister and the brother, not the father. It shows John saying that he don't want her making his debt. Uh, I no, just read it. Read it again, that, sir. That's what he said. Read I know I'm not crazy. Just read At it again. the time of his debt, John, John Amos, right, was concerned that Shannon might turn his debt and intermit into a circus as she had done with other aspects of his life. So I ain't want her to know that I passed away right now. This what this saying. If you if let her know down the line after everything that went what it went. It sounds crazy, but the world is crazy today. You never know if that really was his you wishes. Never know That's all I'm exactly. saying. You say you never know if that you was never his, know if that was his and wishes. You don't know if that was his wishes. What this uh lady who lived with them said. You don't know I'm not right, you not right. No, I'm right in the fact that no father, no daughter should find out that her father passed. Yeah, I agree. 45 days I later agree. and I he's agree. cremated. Babe, I agree. That's my own Listen, issue. Everything else is speculation. I agree with what you're saying. It shouldn't. But the and world, I don't believe that how, was the his world how the I world, don't that was how his the wishes. world goes today, and you know how family is with family. Family's supposed to stick together no wish? matter what. Why is you asking somebody that's off the camera? Because that's the crazy thing. No, you know what I'm saying? See, that's when, I, I, that's when, that's when I'm winning this argument, y'all. You already no. know what's going on. You feel me? But anyway, what I'm saying is, listen, 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 crazy. listen, what I'm saying. If y'all think I'm crazy or she crazy, uh, it's a Leave possibility. It See, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, make sure y'all leave it in the comment. But let me say this. Okay. How the world is today. I don't the, give a damn. Hold up. I, I let you talk. I let you talk. I, or babe, 20 years later. That's your feelings. My dad. That's your you feelings. Don't tell me and I find out with everybody. What you going to do about lying, it? It's going to go down. Well, why it can't go up? <laughs> it's gonna be up and stuck. <laughs> All the thing that's, I was It's going to be up and down at the same time. Uh, it's going down going up and it's up and going stuck down like at the same time. <laughs> okay, no. well I'm gonna I'm say this and then Come I'm gonna be through. I'm gonna listen, no, I, listen, because y'all sometimes he be wanting to just argue with me. I'm not arguing. Only thing I'm because saying is have an open mind. Right. I'm just saying have an open mind. Don't always listen to what. But What's you're wrong? Listening no, to I'm having. No, I'm not saying I'm <laughs> right. Listen, to the listen no, I'm being open-minded. That what if it did happen like that? That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying. No, that. you going off what they saying, and I'm being open-minded, saying you closing your mind because you only want to believe what the woman said. No, and I think it'd be like a man and woman thing between me and my wife too, y'all. Baby, let me all tell the time for real. Let me tell y'all. Y'all gonna see it gonna come out on me, one of these shows. Just come, trust it's me. Gonna come out right now. <laughs> it's gonna come out right now. Anytime a woman oh, is man, man, man. Uh, being brought up the topic of the conversation, she go? oh, she lying. Oh, she did. Hey, no. What if she did? What if she lying? Oh, she making it up. You got to think like a man. But, you got to think like a man. But on the other hand, y'all. We open-minded. We more open-minded than women. Me, trust me. If it was me. They dealing with their feelings. No. We open-minded. Y'all deal with y'all emotions. No. Your heart is too in it. Man, how these niggas See, my mind can say this and then I could go to that. But you going to dwell on it all day because it affected you emotionally. No, you should not. have no emotional attachment to nobody else's business. That's the it problem. Be you, you get fighting mad. I'm, Start turning the radio up loud, child. That's blocking her out my mind. He get and protecting mad about somebody else. Pre- no, no, but no, anyway, no. Anyway, anyway yeah, so whatever. moving on, yeah, moving bye. on. Because he wrong when you get through. R.I.P. Boy, James. you should have told your sister and your family about your father. But all jokes aside, I hope they fix that situation, but, work that situation out because it's, it's, it's already bad that, you know, our people Tell can't you. get along. So I wish y'all the best in that situation. Y'all figure it out, you know what I'm saying, and can move forward on a positive note if y'all can, you know what I'm saying, and it don't, you know, escalate to something more worse. You feel so, me? So it don't get no worse. But anyway, let me, I want to, sister, brother, rivalry. Not to talk about we're not finna talk about sister brother rival, but obviously these two are at odds for whatever reason. And for whatever reason, this sister and brother do not get along. Those reasons made 
the brother make a decision to not inform his family, his sister or the rest of his family. So he didn't tell let me, anybody. Let me finish. Well, the closest ones, if they didn't know, who else knew? So if sometimes people can be mad at a person and they do things knowing that this is going to hurt this person. Knowing that this is going to put this person in a bad, bad mindset. Even today, we see people who, uh, just because I'm mad at you, now I'm going to pray on your downfall. Now I'm going to hope you don't get it. I'm going to hope you don't do this. I'm going to hope you don't make no money. I'm going to hope you don't be successful. I'm going to hope it so much until I'm going to even act to do things to keep you from being successful, keep you from making money or try to bring harm or whatever. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people really don't think about the fact that when you wish harm on other people or when you uh, put yourself in a position to bring harm or to hurt somebody, you really inviting that into your own life as well. Facts. You feel me? The law of attraction. The law of attraction. So I think if a lot of people thought about what I do to this person is eventually going to come back to me some way, shape, form, or fashion. If they think about that, then maybe, maybe, just maybe, you know, they'll reconsider their actions. So, so people who don't know who they is, you know, and people know you don't know who you is, and they take advantage of that, you know, was bring me to the situation of what's going on with Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Um, man, Beehive was just talking about it, you know, on our podcast. Um, they got a Diddy hotline out there, you know, and I thought it was just something that wasn't real. And um, I called it. Oh, yeah. I called you it. You called it? I called it, and, 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 and it made me mad, you know. And Beehive asked me, you know, how much of that you think is true? You feel me? I was like, man, 85% of that I feel is a lie. You know what I'm saying? Because it's 3,000 people that have came forward and, you know, put claims out. And I got this problem with these security men, especially after watching um Blank Twice. You know, the security men who was there, who was watching these times, and now ever since the Cassidy thing came, everybody, Cassie. Cassie Ever since that came, everybody want to talk about it and seem like they trying to grab for the money. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it pisses me off to see how, you know, that, that it's like they go after people for the money. They don't care about what really happened. If it really happened, they just want the money. Because if I give you the money, what happened to me, I'm going to forget. You know what I'm saying? It pisses me off. So, yeah, I called the hotline and I saw how it was set up. I saw how it was, how set, was up. set up. You want to call it? You could call it. if I, I'm going to give it to you. We ain't going to call it now, call but we going to call it. Oh, nah, okay. nah, we ain't going to call it, but they really got a Diddy hotline. And I just think that, man, okay, did you see on the news what they were talking about? Everything is sealed. Now they don't want it to leak out here. We don't want to leak it. What you got to hide if it already then went viral? You feel me? Now the evidence is out there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want us to all go off assumptions and speculation? Nah, give us the concrete evidence that got him no bind. You feel me? We want to know that. And then people can like say, you know what? After we saw that tape from Cassie, did it was down fucking bad from doing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not going to hang a man to the cross because of something that he done did and we seen him do that and say, you know, you did that. You had to do all this other stuff. And I think that's what's going on. And I don't think that's right. What you think? Well, if that's what's going on, then it's not right. Um, I feel like if everybody else's case and evidence is wide open from Dolph, the Dolph trial, uh, Young Thug, everything is coming out, it should be the same with him. We need to know what's going on. We want to know. You see what I'm saying? We want to know what y'all accusing him of. It's crazy. We want to see what the evidence is. If the evidence points to really that he did these things, we weren't there. So everybody is speculating. You can feel in the bottom of your stomach that, yeah, he did all that. He guilty. He did it. But you don't really know because you wasn't there. So you have a different, um, you know, perception of everything that's going on from Diddy and all the people that's coming out and talking than the... Um, you know, James Evans situation. The James Evans situation is my stance on 
is not because we know it happened. We know he died. We know his daughter didn't know until 45 days later. Okay. We know the this. evidence. But with Diddy, we just hearing about if you wasn't at the party. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Me and you was not at the party. We don't know. Mm-hmm. We don't know what they saying this man did. But it also can be, you know how we got our the conspiracy theories out there saying that, you know what? It's probably not something. He probably didn't do that, but he's probably doing something that they don't like or not agreeing to do something that somebody wanted to do. So, exactly. here, you know, and that's so, where I go at. See, that's what my mind go to, you know, maybe he's not forgetting something or maybe he's then came to his senses to where now I remember where I come from and I'm going back to where I come from and I want to save my people from going through what I went through. I always think that there's a possibility that a person have changed their life and I don't want you to change because we all, like I say, even me, you know what I'm saying, man? I didn't change my life and people try to lie on me. So right. sometimes I be feeling like a personal way about certain allegations man because i know a lot of people that lied on me about yeah, a lot of shit every time we argue it's because you put yourself in I, and i yeah yeah other it, people's it do. shoes you be like no because they lied on but me. if i'm wrong if it come out i'm gonna be the first one to be like you know i was wrong bop 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 you no, know what i'm saying no, you man yes i am ain't yes i am okay so but you I, he'll probably tell y'all but he ain't anyway, gonna tell me anyway you know I, you if i'm wrong right. I might not say it in that way, but my actions are short. So See, anyway, anyway, but I right, moving on to R. Kelly now. R. Kelly didn't been off the scene, you know what I'm saying? But we got his daughter and his wife, who still, by the way, you know, got the name Kelly. You know what I'm saying? Um, got a tell-all book. Now, now I, I'm not gonna lie. This is this is just my opinion. If a man did these allegations to your daughter or he did some monstrous stuff why wait till all this stuff going on with diddy bring it up again now you kind of like opening up uh, old stuff that you know what i'm saying people like man move on like like nobody's believing her Nobody believing her. Everybody saying, "Girl, sit down." Bop, bop, bop. You know what I'm saying? You know how the people be. Once they're on your side, they're on your side. But when they're against you, they're against you. Do you think that is any truth to the allegations coming from the daughter? Which we ain't heard the her, the whole thing, but it's how they promoting it. Like R. Kelly didn't touch his daughter, did this or did that. You know what I'm saying? Even to make us think that he did something to his daughter, I feel like is a violation to a person's character. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, she doing a tell-all book. And you know, it, it 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 just fucked up how people can just put allegations out on you and just well, defamate your character, man. Yeah, it's messed up for people to defamate people's character and put allegations on people. But it's even more messed up if you did what they saying you did. Now we're not gonna say these people ain't did nothing. You feel me? We're not gonna say what they did and what they didn't do. But it's equally as messed up, even more messed up. If you did this. I agree with that Now As far as I think her timing Is Way off For anybody to want to Kind of take it serious Because R. Kelly Has went through uh, Surviving R. Kelly no He then stuff. went through His trial He's in there Doing his time Let that man do his time. Let God work with him, work on his heart, his mind, whatever needs to be worked on within him. It's between him and God at this point. I don't think the timing is is good, Andrea. She could have been, she could have came. She if this happened to my daughter and I've been I've been knowing these things, what why would you hold that back after Two trials or three trials, I, I believe. You know what I'm saying? And going through all the stuff that he had went through, like, and you well, still got his last name. Like that shit don't make no sense to me, man. Like, the thing like for about, real. For the real, thing man. about it is, what I wouldn't want to do. I and, and this, you know, people deal with their kids how they choose to. You feel me? When you talk to about a, a woman and her child, that's a real touchy subject. So I'm gonna put on some white gloves. And handle this Try to handle it gently Cause however she want to deal with her child She do it But me personally I wouldn't dare 
put my child in front of no camera to relive this type of trauma to make no money off of it. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't true. If it's true or not, truth be told, if it's true or not, that's something that is traumatic. I need to make sure you are healed from this. You know what I'm saying? Not be in front of somebody's camera crying to the world. That's just that's just me. Exactly. But like and I that's said, what she make can it do how she wanna do it. That's what make it seem like it's some bullshit. And you know what I'm saying? It, it that's wrong. So so it brings me to what happens to people who lie on people then you know what you can I can sue you back. I can't sue you for nothing because you trying to get everything from me. You don't got shit. Like it's just crazy. It's fucked up. It just fucked up, man. And, and until they have something, Turk, you saying it's fucked up because you're leaning on the side that it's lies. Nah, I'm leaning on the side that, like you say, her timing of it. And if somebody did this to me, this was my husband, and you did this to my daughter. Why wait years and years and years? What you forgot? You you forgot that it happened to you, and then when all this stuff started happening, it brought back remembrance. You know now, what I'm saying? Like it just wrong, come on, man. When they first did this, and she, um, speaking of his ex, she was helping up for him. She was uh, doing the documentary, and she was kind of, if I'm recalling correctly, if I'm not, y'all forgive she, me. She, she was kind of, you know, helping him for him. You know, trying to take the bandaid off slow, not trying to really. You know, nail him to the cross. But if I knew you did this, unless she just found out about it, unless she just found man. out, I don't know. We don't know, Turk. Well, we don't know. We just don't know. But at the end of the day, man, it's sad. And we just hope people are doing the right things for the right reasons. It's crazy. I think that money ran out. You know what I'm saying? And it's time for me to get some type of um, check off a lie. If I could get a check from telling you a lie, and I don't have a heart about it, then I'm gonna tell you some fucking lies. The the world want to be deceived. Well, if it's a lie or the truth, because the truth could have been told a long time ago too. But it, or it, the, some truth is not just for everybody. So sometimes people will sell a lie or sell the truth. You feel me? I just feel like it, 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 I just feel like it's not a good time. I feel like. Uh, is uh, trying to ride the wave of what's going on um, in hip hop with Diddy and you know so many allegations that's just like the Chris Brown thing y'all leave Chris Brown alone. I mean come on now they How bringing up everything about everybody that they feel like they could bring it up about man like you know what I'm saying like it's just crazy man I guess they just forgot about the shit that will happen with Kanye huh you know what I'm saying like you remember when they bought stuff up with him so now it's all of a sudden it disappeared you feel me like I just be feeling like it's a bunch of lies and deception and it seemed like our people, and I hate to say that every time I say that, it seems like our people be the ones who kind of like nail our people to the cross the most. Well, you, you feel know, me? we had this conversation and that made us watch the Epstein. But you got uh, you got white people that, that that's going through these same type of allegations. As but do well. they got different media outlets? Because if they, they do, y'all part me to it so I can tune in and tap in and see yeah. if they getting the same treatment that we get. Yeah, cause see, we are we are in like the hip hop community culture, the the black culture. So our focus is gonna go to that. But trust me, they nailing people to the cross over there too. It's who crazy. Have, man. Had the same allegations. So you know, we just we got to stop going off assumptions and start sticking to the facts, man. Like that's all I say. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know, don't spread the gossip, man. Straight like that, man. And y'all already know what it is, man. I'm Hot Boy Turk. And I mean money. And that's this Make Love, Make Money episode two. Let's go.